Screener is a free web-based screencasting tool. You can get to it at screener.com. Notice it's S-C-R-E-E-N-R.com. Before you do anything else, you're going to want to create an account, and it does allow you to sign in with your Facebook account or your Google account if you choose. So click Sign In With, and you will probably have to give your login information. Um, since I've been logged in before, I didn't need to do that, and I'm going to go ahead and sign in. To make your screencast, click the button that says Launch Screen Recorder Now. And it's going to go out and look for your Java. If it doesn't work, if you don't get this message in the middle, close it, try it again. If you know you've got the most recent version of Java, sometimes it just doesn't detect it on the first try. You can move this frame anywhere on your screen. So you will move it to some space that roughly represents the size of what you're trying to capture. And then, down at the bottom, you'll see that there is a red record button. As you're talking, you'll see the microphone show up, and that indicates that your microphone is working and that it's prepared to capture your screen recording. So I'm going to just record myself navigating through a website so I can navigate to another page and my frame still stays on the screen and I'm going to click record. It gives me a little bit of a countdown and I can start talking. I need to click into my screen and then I can navigate it my way through. It's recording. You'll see across the bottom it says how many seconds of recording I've done. You'll do notice, you should notice that the maximum length is five minutes. So Screener only allows you to do a five minute recording. All right, so I've done my navigation. I'm ready to stop. I can either pause, which then allows me to continue my recording if I choose. I'll press the record button, and now I'm back to recording. But when I'm completed, I'm going to click the done button. At that point, I need to go back to my screener page in my browser in order to see my next steps. And so this is the place where most people get confused. They hit done and suddenly nothing happens. Well, that's because you need to go back to the screener browser page in order to decide what to do next. So here's a preview of my screencast and I can play it. You can see my mouse moving around and I'm scrolling. You don't hear the audio because I have that turned off so it doesn't compete with my voice right now. But if I like it, I can click Publish My Screencast down here at the bottom. I'm going to click Publish. Oops, I do need to have a description. I'm going to publish it. And then you'll see the bar moving across to tell you that it is publishing. Once it's done with the rendering process, it brings you to the screener um, navigation page where it's got your screencast and some options over on the right hand side. You can download the file, but most importantly, you can publish the file to YouTube. You will need to log into YouTube to publish it, so enter your username and your password and click publish. That's all there is to Screener. Good luck.